For today's project, you're going to need two different colors of cotton DK yarn. I use less than a skein in both the white and the yellow. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and of course a darning needle. So to start off today, we are going to be working from the corner of our bandana all the way to the top. So make a slip knot, pop it on your hook in whichever color you want to start with. So after that, we are going to chain up six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the first thing we'll do is make a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, so right here. So to make a double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into that top loop only, just like so. Yarn over, pull through that loop, then yarn over, pull through the first two, and yarn over and pull through the second two. So now we're going to make another double crochet in the very next chain right here. And then one last double crochet in the very last chain. But this is where we are going to change color, so we are not going to finish our stitch. So we'll just pull through those first two, and then when you have two loops left on your hook, we are going to drop our working yarn and pick up our opposite color. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my other color with my hook just like so, and then we are going to pull through those last two loops to finish up the stitch. So now what we are going to do is pretty much the exact same thing we just did. So I'm going to chain up six, one, two, three, six, and then we are going to flip our work over like so. And we are going to make a double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook, just like we did previously. Okay. Oops. So one, then we're going to make two more right here. So one in the next chain. Oops, sorry about that. And then one last one in this last chain right here. So again, it's going to match pretty much what we just did. Okay. And we also want to make sure that we are weaving in both this tail end right here and the yarn we are not working with. So to do that, I just bring these two up right here. So now what we're going to do is we want to start attaching this to this stitch right here. We're just going to start kind of making it into our triangle. So to do that, we are going to insert a hook in the space between this third and fourth stitch right here. And we are counting all of our chain threes as stitches, by the way. So I will insert my hook, maybe. Insert. Then we're going to make a slip stitch, so yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook. Okay, so as you can see, this is going to be our point right here. So now what we're going to do is chain up three. And we are making three double crochets all in this same space right here. Okay, and making sure to weave in those two ends. So I'll yarn over, insert my hook into this space, make one, two, and then on the third one we are going to change color again. So we will start our double crochet, then with two loops left on our hook we will drop our working yarn and then pick up our other yarn right here. And then we are going to yarn over and pull through the last two loops so that we have again changed color. So now what we're going to do is the same process. So I'm going to chain up six, then do the three half double crochet, I'm sorry, three double crochets, then we'll slip stitch here, three double crochet, slip stitch to this point, three double crochet, and then it goes on and on. But I will show you guys this third round, this third row. So we're going to chain up six, like I said, one, two, three, and then we're going to flip our work. So again, we will make a double crochet in the fourth chain from our hook. Make another double crochet in the next chain. And then make a final double crochet in that very last chain. Okay, and again, we want to make sure that we are bringing up this yarn that we are not working with, and we still haven't wo woven the rest of that tail end, so I'll bring that up too. Okay, just like so. Then I'm going to again want to attach like so. 
So we're going to slip stitch into that very last space between the third and fourth stitch. We'll yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on our hook. Then I'm going to chain up three and do three double crochet all in this same space. So one, two, oops, and three. Okay, and I'm always bringing these two ends along as well. So then I'm gonna do that again, the slip stitch into again this very last space. Slip stitch, chain up three, and then three double crochet in that same space. So one, two, and then we're gonna get ready to change color on the third one. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna drop our working yarn, pick up our opposite yarn. I'm just gonna leave that tail end right there because it's very tiny right now. And then I'm going to yarn over, pull through those last two loops to officially change color yet again. So I'll show you guys this once more. It's going to be the exact same thing that we have been doing and we are only changing color on the very ends of all of these rounds. then I would change color right here. But this is all that we are doing for the whole entire bandana. We will keep doing this pattern until we have reached 22 rows in total. So this is what it should look like once you are finished with all 22 rows. Now that we're done with the body portion, it is time to move on to the ties and the border around our bandana. So what we're going to do is finish up that very last stitch instead of changing color. And what you also want to do actually is grab your scissors and cut off your end that you're not working with right now. So for me, that's going to be the yellow. Give it a little cut. So what we want to do now is make a chain that's going to wrap around your head. So for me, I'm going to make 65 chains that will tie nicely on the back of my head. So once you're done with this chain, what we're going to do is go back on it with single crochets. So working in the second chain from our hook, we are going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two. So we're just going to continue making single crochets in each of our chains all the way down. Make sure you get into this very last chain right here. And then to finish it off, we're going to slip stitch into this double crochet space. Okay, so that is the strap. Now we are going to start working on the border. So to do this, we are just going to be placing single crochets all the way around the perimeter of our bandana. And you can do this however you want, but I'll just show you how I do it. Oops, sorry about that. So here we have our little yellow tail end that we cut. We're going to finish weaving this one in because we're not using the yellow anymore during the rest of the making of the bandana. So what I'm going to do first is insert my hook into these spaces in between the stitches and then just start making single crochets. And I place one in every space that I see. And then when you get to this, uh, I guess, double crochet space, I put two in there. All right, and then we're just gonna keep doing this all the way around. Okay, so we're coming up to the peak right here. So in this peak point, we are going to make three single crochets to round out that corner. 
So I'm just going to kind of insert into this space right here and make one, two, and three single crochets. And then I'm just going to continue making single crochets all along the other side of this border. Okay, so I'm going to place one single crochet in each of these spaces on the very last little bit. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into this very first stitch right here. So now we are getting ready for the other strap. So we're just going to chain up the same amount we did for the opposite strap. Okay, and now we're going to go and make single crochets all the way down this chain, starting from the second chain from our hook. Make sure to get into the last chain again. And then we're making sure that we are on the border edge. And I am going to slip stitch into this first stitch right here. Okay, so now we are done with that other strap. So the only thing we have left to do is the little frilly border. So to do that, we are going to chain up three. And then we are going to skip the next stitch and go into the second stitch. And we're just going to make a slip knot. I'm sorry, a slip stitch. Okay, then we'll chain three again. We will skip the next stitch and go into the following stitch, again with the slip stitch. Chain three, and I think you know what we're doing now. We're going to skip the next stitch and go into the second stitch. And you're just going to keep repeating this all the way around your bandana. There's nothing fancy at the peak. Just repeat this in every single stitch. Okay, so now that we are at the very end, we are going to chain up one, and this is where you would cut your yarn, leave a little bit of a tail, but I've already cut mine, so I'm just going to pull that all the way through, and then pull tight. And then you just want to weave in this end as well. But that is the end of our little bandana tutorial here, so this is what the little frilly edge is going to look like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. I make weekly crochet content over here on YouTube as well as on my blog, which I will link down below as always. Go ahead and follow me over on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram for more daily crochet content. But with that, this is going to be the end of our tutorial here. I will see you guys in my next video. Just kidding, I will see you guys right now because I still have to announce the winner from the Paintbox Yarns giveaway. So, drum roll please. The winner is Cornelia Fuhr. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but Cornelia, I did email you already, so go and check your inbox and it'll tell you all of the details that you need to know to go and get your free yarn. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for all the comments, all of the entries. It was more than I honestly thought would enter, so thanks so much. And I will now actually see you in my next video. Bye.